Hey guys, Walt Driftwood Racing here. We are at the Ineos Grenadier uh, test drive. So this was an off-road course um, that we went on today. Um, and I can't remember the name of this place. This is a new uh, facility that's being built where it's kind of like store your car, store yourself. There's some racetrack stuff, there's off-road stuff. We'll get to that in a minute. But, so yeah, we're at the test it out, drive it off-road, off we did. Uh, I was in one truck with a uh, Ineos person and my wife was in another truck with a, another Ineos person. So we had plenty of, we you know got to really do some pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty cool uh, obstacles and it climbed right over it. And we were just going in low range and um, with the rear, uh, yeah, no lock or diff, just low range. And it climbed over all these obstacles and some stuff over the other uh, You go like, oh crap, look at that. But man, it went right over it. So um, no problem at all. But um, so yeah, any of those test drives, supposedly in the, uh, these vehicles are not, they don't have the airbags and everything in it. They're, they're pretty um, complete aside from airbags and such. Um, so they can't drive them on the street legally. So um, they're supposed to come back through, through um, to Florida sometime in the summer with airbag equipped vehicles. So we'll be able to drive it on the street. Um, I saw watched some videos from over in, in England of people driving them on the street, and um, that was what was one of my main concerns: of how does it act on the road? And um, the people driving them, or the guy driving them, seemed to be pleased at its performance on the road. I mean, it is a truck, so turbocharged uh, gas engine here in the U.S. Uh, made by BMW and the transmissions, the ZF transmission. So, no, um, I was, it, it worked really well. I, I got some more. Have a spot of tea? Yes. Okay, a spot of tea. Um, anyways, no, it, uh, it worked really well. I'm really, uh, I'm, I'm just hope they don't price themselves out of the market. That's my only, uh, my only thing. Hopefully they don't. Uh, let's take a look underneath. We are allowed to take pictures underneath? Yeah, yeah, okay. Absolutely. I know the first time around we couldn't take yeah. anything underneath, yeah, so. No, so they're going to, you know, they kind of, when they went, when they looked at the dealers, they looked at... I think it's built dealers. really stout. I mean, it's straight axle front end. Um, heavy duty. I mean, this differential is seriously thick. But uh, CF transmission, 8-speed transmission. Um, real frame, you know, underneath the thing, which... A lot of times nowadays in all y'all's high-priced SUV type vehicles, you got a unibody, which not really a real off-road vehicle for any, of you, for any of you folks that know how things flex and break. So, this thing's cool. I'm, uh, like I said, I'm hoping that they don't price themselves out of the market for a lot of folks, but it's not going to be cheap, I can tell you that. But it's well made, and if you watch the videos on the internet, on YouTube of uh, the way it's made, the way they treat the body, galvanized metal, rust proofing. I got a 12 year uh, warranty on the body for rust and things like that. So it's made really well. And it's a really, uh, when you uh, when you open and close the doors, really a solid feel about it. It's not, um, it's not at all a tinny, cheap kind of feel, you know. you. Look at it, and you close it up, and you go. You don't have to slam it to lock it. It just it's locked. <laughs> yeah, like a lot of cars, you got to slam the doors to get them to close. So that's it. So in the back, you got this, uh, and there's a lot of options here too, like this this cool little. Uh, let's see if I can open this. With, not using a. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to do this. This is a shelf that comes down like a little table. It's an option, kind of cool. So, um, yeah, I mean, there we go. Here's a fine example. It's closed. Now, how many vehicles you got to slam the shit out of things to get things to, to uh, that is solid sounding uh, closure there for those people who like that kind of thing. Let's see here. This opens up. Yeah, cool. Walk around some more. 
We got lots more people here than we got here. More people come to test drive the, the Ineos Grinder there. I gotta give them credit. It's only been a few short years and they have a vehicle already being delivered in Europe. Uh, they're saying here March, he said, February, March. Yeah, for deliveries here in the U.S. So depends on when you put your order in. What's that? Depends on when you put your order. Yeah, in. depends when you put your order in. So um, if I decide to pull the trigger, we'll put the order in right away. So anyhow, and what color? You like the shale blue or the sterling silver? Um, Peggy was out in the uh, in the shale blue uh, shale blue truck. I just can I don't know what happened there, guys, but the screen went black. Maybe I touched something I didn't realize. But. So, yeah, they got different selection of colors you can pick from. So, anyways, what is this place called again? What's the, um, the Enclave? That's what it's called, this uh, facility they're building here, the Enclave. I didn't know it was out here. It's kind of cool. So, um, all right, guys. What's that? The motor on. The motor enclave, I'm sorry. So yes, Ineos Grenadier, test drive. I'm, uh, I'm liking it. I'll talk to you guys later.